to Camp Kira. Alexis and I just love taking care of the animals here at the sanctuary. And we've gotten pretty good at it. Sometimes we have to do chores like clearing up dry branches or clean up wombat poo. <laughs> Did you know wombat's poo is shaped like a square? <laughs> <laughs> Helping at the sanctuary is one of our favorite things to do. But we also know that to stay healthy and happy, it is important not to forget to take care of ourselves. That's why every Sunday, after we finish our chores, we put on music and do something fun and relaxing. I like to draw. And I like to take pictures. Doing things that help you feel good is called self-care. The animals work hard too. Some of them are recovering from injuries, or are distressed from fires, or... Or dirty from playing around in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy and Boomer, I just gave you two a bath. I think we could all use a self-care day. That's a great idea. Let's make it a self-care Sunday for us and the animals. And you can use some of these tips to give some extra care love to your pet at home. Let's do it. Grab your pet's toys and shampoos and be sure to ask a grown-up to help read any labels and to assist with the bath. Yep, I got the towels. Wombats may look slow, but in reality, they can run up to 25 miles an hour. So those paws need some love. I like to make a homemade paw balm to use on some of the animals. Be sure to listen to your pet and only rub their paws if they like it. Finally, everyone deserves a little treat. I'm making petsicles for those hot days in the bush. Just fill an ice cube tray with pieces of their favorite pet treats. Add water and your pet will be so happy. Be careful and make sure to ask an adult for assistance. I'm feeling pampered from head to paw. A hundred percent agree. What are the ways you like to show your pets and yourself some extra love? Okay, who wants a petsicle? Thanks for hanging with Alexis, Daisy, Boomer, and me for our self-care Sunday. I will be back with more fun from the wild. Till then, I'm Kira Bailey signing off from the bush. Say guys. Hello everyone. Greetings from Camp Kira. We're in Alexis's tent today. Oh, <laughs> hello there, mates. Alexis is busy doing schoolwork. She takes her classes online because she lives here at camp. I think I need a snack. I've never done schoolwork online before, but Alexis does it all the time, and she's awesome at it. <laughs> but sometimes I need help staying focused. Kira is so organized, so I asked her to give me some tips. Well, blimey, sounds like a mob of roos out there. Uh, Alexis? Yeah, yeah, I can get easily distracted. <laughs> <laughs> well, what really helps me when I study is having a fun but organized workspace. It makes me way more productive at school. Plus, I always know where all my stuff is. Oh, I reckon I need that. <laughs> Kira, would you like to help me create a fun workspace? I have a better idea. Let's set up a study space at the science station. There is enough space for the both of us. And we can study together. Ah, oh, ice! The first thing you want to do is find the perfect study area. Be sure to ask an adult if you need help, like moving things around, for instance. We're using the science station because it's nice and quiet and protected from the elements. I recommend grabbing a calendar and to-do list so you can mark important dates, like when assignments are due or when we can go see Bean again. Be sure to add your own style. You can pick any theme you like. Alexis picked animals, of course. Oh, I'll put a little baby brew on it. And don't forget to have some snacks at your desk. Oh, yum. My most important tips are to turn off your phone so you don't get too distracted. Ugh, turning you off. Do not forget to rest your eyes and take breaks as recommended by your teacher or adult. I can't believe I'm actually looking forward to doing my homework. It looks so good. But don't forget, it's really important to take lots of breaks when you learn online. You got it, mate. Speaking of taking a break, <laughs> Taking care of the animals is the perfect way to take a break, if you ask me. <laughs> Thanks again for all your help today. I feel so much more confident about taking online classes. Anytime. This is Kira, Alexis, Boomer and Daisy signing off from the bush. We will be back with more adventures in the wild. <laughs> there. Perfect. Welcome back 
to Camp Kira. Alexis and I absolutely love living in the camp. We wanted to make it the best place to be this summer. So today, we're going glamping. Glamping is mixing glam with camping. We're making our tents extra glamorous with some garland using tree branches from the bush. We made them by tying eucalyptus leaves to light strands. The leaves are really strong and grow in pairs, like Alexis and I, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, they smell amazing. And I'm decorating the camp with these lanterns to create the atmosphere. Kira, what else do people do in glamping? Oh, you have to make sure you have yummy snacks and fun activities planned. One of my favorite things to do is braid hair. Me too. Have you ever had a fishtail braid? No. What is that? Well, it's a braid that uses two hair sections instead of three. And it looks like a mermaid tail. Oh, I'd love to give you one. That sounds so cool. Let's do it. I'll go get the brushes. Let's do it. Did you know braiding hair started over 5,000 years ago? It began in ancient Egypt. What a hair story. Now, let's glamp it up. Did you know eucalyptus flowers don't have any petals? There aren't many pollinating animals like bees in Australia, so the flowers have to pollinate themselves. Now this is a braid upgrade. <laughs> Ta-da! OMG, the fishtail braid is my new favorite hairstyle. So glad you like it. Wow, mate, this glamping setup is so awesome. Three thinks so too. What are your favorite things to do while glamping? Thanks for joining us today, happy campers. I'll be back with more adventures in the wild. Till then, I'm Kira Bailey signing off from the bush. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Or as they say here in Australia, good eye. I'm Kira Bailey, and this is the bush. It's what we call the forests and open land in Australia. My great aunt Mamie runs a wildlife sanctuary out here, and I'm helping her out for the summer. It's been the greatest adventure. I decided to start a video journal so I could share my amazing adventures with other kids like me who love camping, being outdoors, and dream of taking care of wild animals. Welcome to Camp Kira. And I'll show you the animals we get to take care of every day, like koalas. <laughs> hey, cutie, want to take a selfie? Out here in the bush, we live in the camp and sleep in these amazing tents. And I made a new friend here who taught me all about taking care of wild animals. Say hello, Alexis. <laughs> G'day, I'm Alexis, the best mate. You are, OMG, we did bud heads at first. <laughs> we did. But we both love rescuing animals and that's how we became best mates. So for my first journal entry, we decided to make pebble art inspired by one of our favorite rescues, being the koala bear. Pebbles are great to use to paint on because they're environmentally friendly. And they're everywhere. All right, it's time to go rock hunting. Let's go, girl. Time to find the perfect rock. Round and flat ones are the best canvas. Just make sure it's okay to take the rocks from their home. Look at this one. Oh, spider. <laughs> Next, you'll need to clean your rocks and pat them dry. Grab your favorite paints or paint pens. If you want a background color, go ahead and coat the rocks. You can even drip paint. Time for inspiration. Aunt Mamie taught me 90% of the animals here are only found in Australia, like koalas. They make the perfect model because they sleep up to 22 hours a day. But you can use a picture for your pet. Once your rocks are dried and sealed, you can decorate your desk space or use them as napkin holders. It sure gets windy out here. And if you make a bunch like us, you can always give them away to your friends. This was super fun. What kind of animals do you like to draw? I hope you have as much fun painting pebble art and learning about koalas as we did. Thank you, Alexis, for painting with me today. My pleasure, mate. I will be back soon with more adventures from the wild. This is Kira. And Alexis. Signing off from the bush. Catch you later.
and confident. 